Hi, I'm Rustic Guy. Welcome to my channel. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe if you're just into weird, crazy, just weird stuff. Cool stuff. That's what we do. Um, tonight, I'm doing my second installment of Coffee Pot Cocktails. But this is not really a coffee pot cocktail. I'm really just going to be using the coffee maker to infuse some Mike and Ikes. I am going for a very specific color. It is going to be green. I have a mixture of yellow, blue, and green of Mike and Ikes. And there is a flavor. It's a tropical tropical flavor I'm going for. There's banana, there's watermelon, there's pineapple banana, there's, um, I think blue raspberry, which I don't like raspberry, but it's the blue color I'm going for. And there's another one. There's about 50 Mike and Ikes in the coffee filter. I'll give you a peek of that too. And I'm going to put a few of them as well into the coffee pot once it gets going. But we're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different liquors. I, I've seen this stuff. Somebody did tequila or something or other. I mean, who the hell is going to put tequila in with Mike and Ike's? Nobody. If you're going for a flavor and as I'm going for a tropical flavor, use tropical flavors. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with some tropical fruit rum. And I don't think I'm going to finish all of it. I'm going to save a little bit of it, but I am definitely going to put about half of what's there. That's about half. So we're going to take some mango pineapple vodka. That was rum. We're going to put about, I don't know, that much. We may touch this up. I'm just, I'm eyeballing everything. I have no idea. This is only the second time I've done this. So we're going to take some watermelon vodka. This is going to be kind of heavy with the vodka. Put about, I don't know, that much. I don't know, that's about a quarter of a bottle. Um, quarter, 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 yeah, about a quarter of a bottle. We're going to do some hypnotic, but we're going to do that last. That and the creme de banana. I don't know how this is going to be with the liqueur. That could be the downfall, but I didn't really have any yellows, and I wanted to kind of make a green to go through. That's not quite what I wanted to have happen. Sorry about that. I haven't done this in a while. As you can see, I'm a very unprofessional. Anyways, I'm letting go of anger in my life, so I'm not going to get mad. Sorry about that. So that is the wild card. I don't know how a creme, cream, creme de banana is going to go through a coffee pot. That I, I, I don't know. But we got a little bit of coconut, a little bit of pineapple too. So let's. this is uh, not much of the coconut left. This is a 90 proof. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and dump all that right in there. Though there's no real coconut flavor in the Mike and Ikes, it's hard to be tropical with no coconut. <clears throat> there is pineapple. So there is mango and pineapple in, in as uh, vodka already, but we're going to just do some pineapple rum. Might be a little heavy on the pineapple. We'll save a little bit. So, just because everything is so flavored, and I want a little bit more, we're going to use some Tito's, just straight up Tito's. Put about that much. Now, this is where it gets fun. So, we are going to take some Hypnotic, and this is a brand new bottle. And I'll be honest, I'm not really going to use a lot of it. I should have opened this before. I apologize. Um, I'm really I'm going to try to make green in before it goes through. Now I'm not looking to go like a crazy intense green. Um, I'm looking just to get kind of a not a pastel. I probably shouldn't throw that there, but just to get green to go in. To, I mean to go in to go through the coffee maker. So let's put about. I don't know, that much. 
I'm winging all of this. It smells very tropically, Tro tropically, tropically. So again, creme de banana. This is the wild card. That is definitely green. So let's get just a little bit more. If this wasn't going through the coffee pot, I'd put a little bit of blue curacao in there. But I don't know how that's going to go. It's a nice green. That's eight cups. That's what we did the other night when I did the Starburst. So, so, let's do this. So that is that. Sorry about dropping this. The Mike and Ike. And there's the Mike and Ikes. There's about 50. I was counting. Maybe 60. I got a 15, 50, between 60 and 70. Um, we're going to go ahead and just dump that in. I know. Crazy. All rustic guys. Crazy. All right. We are going to... Dump that in, just like, yeah, I don't know how much of this you can see. This, this is a bad placement for that. So I'm going to leave just a little bit of that in there, because what I'm also going to do is I, I may have put a little too much of the Starburst when I did the Starburst, but I think it needs a little bit more when it starts brewing. So we're gonna put just a few, not too many, because I may have overdone it um, the other day when I did the Starburst. So I don't wanna do that, but I wanna get a couple of the, a couple of each of the colors um, in it. I should have, you know, damn it, I should have had this all ready and I don't. And one of them, there's not a whole lot there. Down at the bottom, of course. So let's. I don't want to dump them out. But I don't want this to take 400 hours. And that seems to be what it's happening. Oh, come on, give me one more of those. There we go. So. I had it. But lost it. Others. All right, there we go. Now there are also two greens: There's a dark green and a light green. Or I thought there was. Anyways, that might be enough. Oh, there was a dark blue. That's what it was. The dark blue, which is the raspberry. See, I'm thinking as I'm going here, and that can be tough. My hands are all sticky, too. That don't help. I don't come out of booze. All right, so we got the old Mike and Ike. We got it poured in, and now we're going to put it on bold. Let's see what happens. Here we go. So we are... Officially brewing. I'll take some shorts as we go along. I am Rustic Guy. Thanks for watching. Sorry about dropping you. Uh, I'm very unprofessional, but I'm just trying to have a good time. Please do drink responsibly. If you try any of these weight crazy weird things, please don't drink and drive. I appreciate you watching. Thanks.